Good morning, my Sagittarians. Happy bonus read day, everybody. How are you doing, Saggies? Are you having a great weekend? I hope you are. I hope you have good plans for the 4th of July for all who are celebrating. Um, be careful out there, but have a lot of fun. Harry the Capricorn is there. Um, so yeah, I am really thankful to do this because some, I get, when was it? I think it was Wednesday. Um, I think it was Wednesday, my air conditioning went out, just went out like that. And um, I had a service guy come in on Thursday and he's like, oh yeah, this needs to be replaced. Meanwhile, it's like 90s, it's high humidity. The air is so toxic from the wildfires up in Canada. And the Chicago air around here, it was like you're, you had to keep your windows closed. So you can imagine how horrible it was in here. But luckily on Friday, two men came in, replaced the AC and furnace but this basement was a mess because my furnace and ac is in a room down down the hall down here so and this is my basement this is my youtube studio so yeah it's thankfully we are doing these readings because last week it was a disaster but um yeah i have tarot the mystical moments for the main deck i have craft tarot for the clarifying deck and the link to this th these decks can be found down below in the description box you have an ace of wands saggy ace of wands and the fool now in this deck the ace of wands is a storybook it's not in the ground yet but something's coming in to open your way of <sighs> something's coming in to i keep I, I keep getting the word fascinating i don't know why it keeps it wanting to come out my mouth so i'm just letting it come out my mouth fascinating someone's going to fascinate you the idea being there is going to fascinate you needing to be there is going to fascinate you you got the high priestess and the two of cups reverse dun 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 what is this and a four of swords that that might i don't feel like it's that because ace of wands is a new energy i you probably have an ex still seeing if you're with somebody new at this point that's always in your reading i don't want to really pay too much mind here so you have the fool and the Six of Pentacles reverse and the King of Pentacles. Some of you might be taking some time off, honestly. Might be going on a little trip, a little road trip, a little trippy trip. And seeing this Ace of Wands, I feel like you're being called. And this has been in your reading for a bit. So, all right, Saggy. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Sagittarius. If you are a Sag, know a Sag. Feel like being a Sag. Sagittarians, I'm glad you're here. You could be a Sag in this resonates, or you can be dealing with a Sag. It could resonate as a main story. A Sagittarius can be the cross watcher. This reading could be about a Sag or for a Sag. Take it as it resonates. And Sagis, thank you so much for being a bonus read. It's because you are one of the top viewed signs. Thank you for the likes and the subscribes and the comments. It really, really, um, it, it goes a long way. It helps this channel. And if you're new to this um, energy, I was going to say maybe, if you're new to my energy, if you're new to this channel, please feel free to like and subscribe. All right, justice card wanted to come out. What's influencing the justice? What's influencing the justice? What's influencing the justice, Libra and energy? Making a decision. Ooh, two of wands reverse. Breaking free from a comfort zone, breaking free from a four of wands. Two, when a two of wands is reverse, it's making a decision you're tired of this world reverse needing to change up your energy what's coming in is a i want to say a tower reverse because i'm looking at it tower reverse and a ten of cups tower reverse is letting something fall see how she's holding on to some, something that's causing a lot of unfulfillment king of cups reverse yeah ten of cups is coming in you got love coming in what's the reason for the reading what's the reason for the reading here for saggies What's the reason for the reading? There it is. Oops, Hermit is here. Oops, not that, not that, this. What is, well, who am I, David Copperfield? What is going on? Ace of Wands, that's the energy coming in. Reason for the reading, Ace of Wands. Why do I feel somebody's seeking you? Why do I feel that when I saw the Hermit show itself? Some of you, it may not be that, but I mean, you've got the hermit and she's doing her, putting her little pole in the water and two of ships come in, not one, but two. It could be the old and the new possibly, but two of cups is coming in. She has no clue. Something tells me this hermit card is very important. 
Hermit is within pulling yourself back, recalibrating what it is you want to do. But there's an energy here of somebody seeking you. It could be on an energetic level or it could be in a physical. Okay. All right, what's in the past for Sagittarians? What's in the past for the Sagittarians? What is in the past for the Sagittarians? You, Nine of Wands reverse. The car is in the garage and haven't gone on a road trip in seven years. No, Nine of Wands reverse is just a lack of passion, a lack of, uh, it feels like you're kind of, it just stuck into something that's passionless same old same old it's untapped potential it's you know when you're a knight of wands you want to go and explore that's your nature but here it's like somebody put you not you but somebody put this horse in the stall and says no i'm a you know you have to stay here you have to stay within this fence and you want to be a mustang and and run free and i feel like that's what's about to happen i see a hangman reverse going on here ready to to break free what's on your mind What's on Sagittarius' mind? There it is. For a, you need a break. Feels like a vacation, honestly. Four Swords, Libra, and Energy recalibrating. What's in the near future? What's in the near future for Sagis? What's in the near future for the Sagittarians? Six of Wands reverse. Taking. I feel like you're taking time off work. What? How do you see yourself? might be quitting some of you are quitting a job i don't want to put that out there i hate saying that just because i don't want to put a seed like if you're happy where you you are working you're happy um but a six of wands reverse is an energy of not getting a, a fulfillment in something that should bring you a lot of joy um, success that you know you're not getting the success you deserve even though you put the time and effort in realizing something just isn't working in the near future and and also I just feel like some of you are just flat out taking because of the four swords being here and an ace of wands I think you have an adventure coming in and I feel like you're taking time off work how do you see yourself how do the Sagittarians see themselves <laughs> traveling six of swords going to maybe Tahiti, going somewhere, ready to drop an anchor on new lands. And she's focused on her star above her. The star is leading you the way, you know, your inner soul and going there. And again, this hangman reverse is really wanting to show itself. It's unattaching to something and seeing what is out there. How do you, or what's the energy coming in? Sagittarius don't see coming. What's the energy coming in? The Sagittarians don't see coming. What's the energy coming in? The Sagittarians don't see coming, please. Balance, temperance. What you seek, you find. I can tell you that. The hermit focuses on his star, right? Right next to it, the star is out of the lantern and you are following it. What's coming in is you. There's balance. I feel sex, I'm telling you. Four of pentacles below that and an emperor. Aries and Capricorn. I feel like your home, your work life will be fine. I feel like you have somebody overlooking your what you're leaving behind. I feel like you're leaving somebody else in charge. I think it, it'll be fine if, if some of you need reassurance. Like you might be going on a solo vacation and leaving family at home. You might be going from work and leaving duties to somebody else. Nine of Wands, there you are. I feel like it's it's hard for you to leave, let somebody else be in control. Like if you have a business, you know, and you're leaving it for a brief time. Nine of Wands, I didn't ask the question, but wanted to show up. I just wanted to show up. There you are. And I don't want to get into the past energy, but that's what I was feeling. What's in your emotions? I'm suppressing the past. I am. I feel like it's trying, like, it's trying to peek through. What's in your emotions? Eight of Cups and a King of Cups reverse. King of Cups reverse is emotionally have an empty a cup and an Eight of Cups is seeking, going to see what is there. But let me tell you a little story here, Sag. But this is the card in your emotions and I'll flip it here. They came out face down, I'll flip it. Let me tell you, 
when you go on this walk about this little journey you have you see the butterfly in the unknown i feel like you're not going to come back the same person you're leaving as a king of cups reverse what you're what's coming back is a temperance realizing something's got to change that's how i'm feeling you have this i just feel like there's a fundamental change coming in as soon as you 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 leave your old four of pentacles behind that's an eight of swords reverse yeah, three of wands reverse. It, it just feels like you have a lot of, you're making a lot of big decisions here. Okay, and your emotions, nine of cups reverse and a queen of pentacles reverse. That's tough. Now this is currently, this is coming in, this is coming in, this is um, how you see yourself is energetically moving on towards it, but this is current. Not getting your needs met in any kind of way, not in the work way, not in the bed way, you know? Nine of Cups Reverse is saying, I have not had my cups full in 84 years. And a Queen of Pentacles Reverse is worried about money, worried about things falling apart, worried about taking care of people, worried, worried, worried. But she's not taking care of herself. So as you know, an Empress is all four Queens. And so when you have one Queen Reverse, of course, I'm thinking there's an Empress out here being Reverse. And why? Because she's so worried about other people, she's not worried about herself, male or female um because an empress definitely can be male so it's just an energy so the queen of pentacles be in reverse is stressed see these rabbits when she's upright she's in control of her stress she's in control i feel like she's just in control all around because she took care of herself first and there's enough to take care of other people so there's she still deals with stress but it's a very small part of her life when it's like this stress is a big part of your life worrying about the bills worrying about the people worrying about and you're not getting your cups filled at that at the same time no wonder we have a chariot reverse going on here and a six of wands reverse feeling like you boo hit that wall in life and what are you going to do you go around it you go over it but damn you don't keep trying to knock it down you know that's what i'm feeling it's like looking for a way around it it's time to make a change here what is the outcome for Sagittarians? What is the outcome for our beautiful Sagittarians? What is this about? Two of Cups reverse, King of Pentacles reverse. Is this an ex? Taurus and Cancer. Um, is this you just leaving the unhappiness? What is the outcome here for Sag? What is the outcome here for our Sagittarians? I really want Spirit to, to pull the card. It feels important. What is the outcome here for Sagittarians? But I think I'm going to have to, or we're going to be here through Wednesday. Let's see. Five of Swords. A lot of stress. That feels like stress. Star, star reverse, five of wands reverse. Getting away from the stress. Definitely something you have a manipulator in your grasp. What's in the outcome for Sag? Did I get a flipper? No. Okay. What is the outcome here for Sagittarians? What is the outcome here? Harry the Capricorn, what is the outcome for Sag? Can you help us out? What is their outcome, Harry? He's like, you know what? He's trying to find his way out. He's looking at me, and then he's looking up the stairs, and then he's looking at me, and he's looking up the stairs. That's that's pretty much what I'm, and he's leaving. He's not hitting a cement wall. He's just like, I found my way out. I'm out of here. I can't take, I can't take your voice anymore. What is the outcome here for Sagittarius? Wheel of Fortune, you got a manipulator. Have a sword. Somebody's going to. I'm not liking that five of swords. Wheel of Fortune reverse is somebody's. And it could be you. It could it could be guilt. But the Wheel of Fortune reverse is the gear around this this chick's heart and needs to start moving forward because I don't know how much longer somebody can run with a nine of cups reverse. How much long how long can a car run with no no proper fuel? You know, it's not gonna go very far, right? So the Wheel of Fortune reverse, but a Five of Swords upright, both being red, you, what you have coming in is a King of Cups and a King of Swords. 
but I feel like this needs to be dealt with. You have somebody who's manipulating you, making you feel like they would be lost without you, making you feel like you can't go on vacation because everything would fall apart, making you feel like you can't leave them behind because they're going to fall apart. You know, no. It's the, there's a perspective. That's why I kept seeing the hangman reverse in this reading. A perspective has to happen. You have to start thinking of yourself, Sagittarius. You can't keep worrying and worrying and worrying if somebody's going to fall apart as soon as you leave. Who are you, God? You're not God. You need to find yourself again. If somebody's keeping this horse in the stall where they can watch to see where, you know, I feel like this person probably has a pretty good life because it's at the expense of you giving them a good life, making them feel secure, being there when they have a problem. But are they honestly there for you like that? I, this person will be king of swords and a king of cups. All right. This is very intriguing. I do feel like it's similar to your other readings, but it's like we're moving an inch closer. All right, what is this? Justice in the center of the reading. What is the justice card? Libra and energy in the center of the reading for Sag. Libra and energy. What is the justice here? A balancing of the scales. Nine of swords reverse. Getting away from it all. It's amazing. As soon as you take a break, will you? I feel like it's going to be pretty quick. You're going to start to feel lighter again, feeling... Like you can breathe, you can exhale, you can hear yourself think, you know more what you want. You, you know, it's amazing. You know, this is, this is very beautiful energy because it feels so, it feels so general that pe it often gets overlooked. But have you ever like gone on a vacation? Let's say, let's just say you go to the next town over or a few towns over and everything just tastes better. Everything looks better. Um, you can look at something at home and be like, oh man, I hate, I hate that color. I hate that kind of sign. But there it feels so unique. It feels vintage. It feels fresh. You know, I feel like that's, that's your eyes. That's the, your perspective is changing. It's not r really the surroundings. It was somebody making it feel more dull. And I feel like you, I just, I just feel like somebody has been a heavy weight on you. Nine of swords reverse is relaxation. It's, it's letting the stress fall away. Why the nine of swords reverse and the justice and the tower. It's funny because the tower looks faded. The tower and the devil card I've noticed are very faded energies. You have. Unlike, this is similar to Taurus and Leo today, but unlike their reading, I can honestly guarantee you that when you go away, you're going to be changed. Where them, I feel like something came in and then they changed. But this feels like with the Nine of Swords reverse making that decision, the tower actually comes after you, you walk that path. Where's the Nine of Cups? I didn't leave it out. Okay, it must have been at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, the Nine of Cups, or um, yeah, or the Eight of Cups, I'm sorry. I feel like as you go, the transformation happens. The Tower is, is something suddenly and drastically changes in your life. What's this Two of Wands reverse? Hierophant reverse. Could be leaving a Taurus or leaving a relationship, leaving a job, but making that decision, Two of Wands reverse. What is this here, Hierophant reverse? And three of wands, see what's out there. Could be permanently, could be temporary, but he's holding on to this ace of wands. Three of wands, he's holding on to a staff, which is an ace of wands, and ready to see what's out there, ready for a ship to come in. And what's interesting, because th if, if you watch tarot, you know three of wands is waiting for a ship to come in. Reason for the reading, not one, but two ships come in behind her. As you're over here fantasizing what life will be like somewhere else. In her hometown, two ships come in. I, I want to say that for some of you, this you feel like you have to go somewhere to, to change, but your surroundings are just fine. It's the people that need to change, honestly. You, you know, that's what it feels like. Knight of Wands reverse, and that should be the title of your reading. What's the Knight of Wands reverse in the past? The King of Cups. 
What's this King of Cups here? I feel like you are a healer. I think you give good love, Whitney Houston. Um, but I just don't think people, yeah, Three of Swords reverse them. People, I feel like people come to you for advice, for counsel. I guess that's the same thing, for love. But then it's just not, it doesn't feel reciprocal with the Nine of Wands reverse. And it's not reciprocal. What's that four of swords on your mind? That's past energy. I, I feel like we're tempting fate by keep clarifying. I'm trying to keep a past away. The pest away or the past away? Oh, is there a difference? All right, four of swords on your mind. That was <laughs> such a dork. Four of swords on your mind, Libra and energy. Yep, getting your inner queen of wands out. Queen of wands, man, it is party time. You got a king of wands at the bottom of the deck in, in the strength card. Queen of Wands is attract, feeling, I'm telling you, as soon as you get away from this energy, you feel, Sag, you feel like, you feel attractive, you feel happy, laughing, talking to more strangers, you know, like maybe in your hometown, wherever you are, you just, you just don't even, you hate people. You might hate people. You might be like, don't talk to me. I just, I'm trying to get through today. But when you go away, just watch what happens. You're just... I love people. I love everybody and everybody and everybody. I guess what it feels like you are the life. Queen of Wands is the life of the party. People are looking at her. But is it because she's attractive or he's attractive? Or is it because you're carefree? You're effervescent. You're like in the full energy. It's in an energy that's contagious here. And of course, in that energy, you're going to take more care in your appearance. Um, but I feel like it's a, very charismatic. I feel like that's that's you, the center of attention. Six of Wands reversed in the near future, coming in, leaving leaving the lack of attention behind. Six of Wands reversed in the near future. Yep, and the Queen of Pentacles reversed. You are nobody's ATM. That's what it feels like. You're just so unappreciated for what you do for people. This King of Cups is not appreciated for what he does for people. Six of Swords is how you see yourself taken off. And ready to explore. I love that page of wands. What's below it? Strength reverse. And the, yeah, you can't hold back strength reverse, allowing this. Not nine of pentacles. I feel like you're going to be so appreciated by a new offer. I want to leave it at a new offer. If it's work or love, you have a new offer that appreciates you unlike where you currently are what's this temperance i feel like you're used to for an atm what's the temperance energy coming in you don't see coming ace of swords reverse is showing itself two of wands interesting enough here's the three of wands on the other shores the two of wands eight of pentacles ten of pentacles and then justice i feel like the universe is paying you back in spades you have a new contract right Ten of Pentacles is more money. It's a lot of stability. Eight of Pentacles is, can you start today? Let's do this. And a Two of Wands is you having to make a decision on two shores, on two paths, two states, two cities, two people. But the world he is holding upright. He wants this, right? The idea of this makes you happy. Energy coming in is what you wish for. What you want is here. It's coming in. But I want to say you're leaving. The weirdest, this is the weirdest. Okay, for instance, let me give you an example. Some of you feel like, like let's say you, you, you're you currently connected to someone or something, something could be a job, and you take a vacation and you realize you fell in love. You fell in love with some, or fell in like. It might be too early to call it, but you fell in like, and you feel like, man, I could see myself there. I want to go back home. But what you might find is the person you see there might come live where you are. And your job might not feel as terrible. Your piggly wiggly on the corner where you shop may not be horrible. The coffee might actually taste good. It's the people are changing out, not necessarily always the locations. And for some of you, that's what that feels like is that is probably not for a lot of you, but it feels like you bring, there's Harry the Capricorn wanting to come back. You bring something beautiful back with you. Temperance. 
So you don't have to level your whole life. Somebody just needs to grow up in your life and probably be on their own. What's the Nine of Cups reverse? Queen of Pentacles reverse and the Chariot reverse in your emotions. There's your cement wall right there. In your emotions, Nine of Cups reverse, the Queen of Pentacles reverse, and the Chariot reverse. And there you are, trying to hold it together. Hold it together. When all you want is just that one wand to be happy, to feel alive, to feel connected, to feel appreciated. And somebody's like, hey, you know, I always use this analogy, but that's what it feels like is the grocery store analogy, is you just want some milk at the store. You have 20 bucks in your pocket. I just want some fair life. All's right with the world. And somebody's like, hey, you're going to the store? Um, I'll pay you later, but can you pick up some steak and some shrimp and some lobster and maybe some breadcrumb? And you're just like, now I have to go take a loan out on my house to, to give you what you need. And I don't even have enough money for my, my precious fair life. You're tired of that. T Ten of wands, you're tired of that. You're constantly doing for others and then you know, I owe you for when it comes to yourself. You're I owe you in yourself. All right, what's the wheel of fortune reverse? And the uh, this seems so far away. I feel like this is your problem. Wheel of fortune reverse and the five of swords. I feel like you're being manipulated. What's the wheel of fortune reverse and the five of swords and the outcome for Sag? Page of Pentacles, but I can't help myself. It could be children, honestly. Some of you, this might be your adult children. Pages could be children in tarot and always needing a handout and a, ha a helping hand. I feel like you have a new offer, Page of Pentacles. What's this Five of Swords? I just feel like you have people who can do for themselves acting like they can't do for themselves. And Two of Swords. Five of Swords again. King of Swords reverse. Let's keep going. Let's see what this is. Knight of Swords reverse. Ten of Swords. And the star. There it is. There's your buried star in a seven of pentacles. Star comes in. I want this. I want to take this new job. I might want to move here. I like this new person. And then somebody's just like, I think somebody is not going to face facts. Two of swords. I feel like somebody is not going to want, you can have a conversation and they're like, I can't hear you. I don't know. Can you just like deposit money in my ATM? Yeah, it feels like you're an ATM for somebody. Five of Swords and a King of Swords reverse. I feel like somebody is absolutely going to refuse to see the truth. But you have to do what's right for you. I can do these readings until I'm blue in the face. And oftentimes I feel like I do. And it's like it could be the same reading, but variations is because somebody's got to face the facts. You have a manipulator in your grasp. You have somebody who acts like they can't take care of themselves. Somebody who can't live on their own. And what's really coming in and slap you across the face like a fish, somebody's gonna fish slap you, is happiness and your wish fulfillment. It's really gonna make you think. Seven of Pentacles, should I stay, should I go? Should I invest in that, should I stay in this? Well, how does it feel is the question. The star, we start with the, the hermit and the star is in his lantern. And then we have a six of swords and the star is out of the lantern and she's chasing it. And now it's right in your hand. Can you? Can you see it? You know, you might have to take off your own blindfold to say, you know what? I need to do this. I need to do this for me. I'm telling you, some of you, this is a, adult children you're dealing with, or some of you are married to someone that feels like an adult child. But this is, you now have the start in, in your grasp. And what are you going to do with it? And you're still deliberating. Should I take it or should I put it away? So if you had a winning lotto ticket and it, you had to spend the gas to go cash it in, most people would walk there, right? You would walk there. You have a winning lotto ticket, but you're giving it, you're entrusting it in a five of swords hand. Would you do that? If you had $30 million in a lotto ticket, would you give it to this person to hold on to? That should make it real clear. That you got somebody I wouldn't trust with a piece of paper, let alone my own happiness. And that's, that's some of you have, to really face the facts that this person probably needs to be cut free from your life. I said it. I said it. All right, my dears. I love you, Sages. If you're still with me at 29 minutes, this long ass reading, I'm leaving the country on Tuesday night. Um, but my work could be self. I have, I'm de I was determined to get 48 readings out to cover from the time I'm gone. And 
I will obviously still do bonus reads and, and reads from where I'm at, but that's why if you see, sometimes I'm here doing readings and sometimes I might be somewhere else, that's why. Um, so yeah, um, in YouTube Tarot Land, you cannot take a break. You take a break and you'll never see that channel again. You can't. So I think for me, the rule of thumb is two days and no posting. You can't go beyond that because yeah, they'll make you obscure. So that's, that's why it's just, I know some people in the past are asking, why do you have readings scheduled? Because it's kind of like if you eat all your calories for the week on Monday, you would be starving to death by Saturday. It's the same thing with YouTube videos. You have to feed the bee slowly. And so, um, and, but you can't break yourself at the same time. So yeah, I did these readings and that's why if you see this variation of there and here, there and here, that's why. All right, my Sagittarius, I love you guys. Thank you for being a bonus read. Thank you for the likes and subscribes. I appreciate you more than you guys know. And I'll see you tomorrow, Fire Signs. Have a great 4th of July if you're celebrating. Take care.